So every single time that I ride the e-bike in the vlog, it leads to, without fail, at least one comment with cynicism for e-bikes. It leads to one cynical comment. There might've been a mix of tenses or plurals in there. Something's messed up. Anyway. to a massage appointment now. Just kind of like one of those things that would be really awkward to show up super sweaty for. Typical cynicism goes something along the lines of like, just use a regular bike. And uh, I would argue, well, I ride bikes for a living. I ride a lot of different bikes for a living. They all have like completely different gear ratios. Sometimes I ride a BMX for eight hours a day. Sometimes I ride the GTMX. Sometimes I ride a road bike. Sometimes I review gravel bikes. It's like different kinds of riding with different sort of power outputs or different sort of demands on my body. It's like I'm exhausted sometimes. And every so often you need to use like some form of transportation to get you somewhere, uh, whether it be a car or uh, in my case, a motorbike or an e-bike to go do something without like exerting more effort on top of what you already do for your job every day. This thing right now is kind of my car. And I'm like, I'm like totally fine with that. I forgot, I forgot to bring an SD card for my drone. It sucks. Okay. I want to put together and draw a flow chart to show my my decision making for why it makes sense to uh, to have an e-bike in your fleet. This isn't rehearsed, so I can't actually guarantee that it's gonna make sense, look good, or prove my point. All right. Okay, so you have me, three decisions. Uh, this is just a bike, e-bike, a car. Anyone else? Wait. You need a thing? Fit in backpack, am tired? Okay, so I think this will be, I think this is, I think this is relatively um, easy to follow. Okay, so here we go. Here's like a, here's the way my mind works. So we have me, do I have to go somewhere? Yes or no? If it's no, then I'm just gonna go ride a regular bike. If it's yes, does anyone else need to come? If it's yes, uh, well, I take a car. It's hard to get two people on that e-bike let alone two people and a dog. If no, no one else is coming, do I need a thing? If no, I don't need anything, boom, take a bike. If yes, I do need a thing, will that thing fit in a backpack? If no, take a car. That makes sense. Now, if that thing will fit in a backpack, am I tired or do I need to not sweat? Kind of like this morning. If no, take a regular bike, just go ride that bike. If yes, if I need to not sweat or I'm too tired is, that destination is that thing closer than a 40 kilometer round trip? If yes, then am I really late? Because if, if yes, then I should probably just drive. If no, um, just ignore this, um, use the e-bike. The e-bike is a great way of getting around. Unless of course there's sweet jumps along the way, um, then maybe just take a regular bike. This didn't, 
This didn't do a good job. This, uh, this, this didn't do a good job of demonstrating my point at all. What I'm trying to get at here is I use the e-bike to go like do quick trips to the grocery store when like Angela and I need something for dinner or like we want coffee in the morning or like stuff like that. Just easy, jump on this, don't have to move any cars in the driveway because we've got single, single lane driveway. It's very quick and easy. There's always parking. I really enjoy using it. I use it more than I thought I would. There's just one thing about the e-bike that I have that I don't love. It's not as cool looking as I would like. I just really hold my breath for a Super 73 still. Believe me, you look at the Super 73, you look at this Turbo Ant, the Turbo Ant is definitely a more efficient e-bike, uh, but for the stuff that I like to do where I'm basically just messing with the throttle all of the time, I think the like uh, mini bike frame and like the way that the Super 73 is constructed is a little more conducive to what I want to do with an e-bike than an actual e-bike if that makes sense. I was supposed to do a retro mountain bike ride with my friend Rob today. We were like talking about organizing it. We picked today, uh, September 25th. We picked a time, uh, three o'clock, it is it's 3.30, I'm not there now, neither is he. We had no plan, we had a day and a time, not really enough. Uh, we didn't tell anybody about it, that's a problem. And, uh, well it's kind of, it's kind of supposed to rain. It hasn't rained yet, but it's coming. There will be rain. Also, Angela and I were going to a winter sleep show tonight. That would have really like, things typically don't go right for me. I'm kind of glad we didn't try because it would have went poorly. But it was kind of like the last opportunity to try and do it. There's like, I'm really busy, he's really busy. 